is a 10 issue series. The plot is Rivendell is suffering from increased gang activity and a group of high school girls team up to do battle to keep them out of town. So is it going to be a Colombian gang? Central American? Mexican? Crips? Bloods? Of course not. It's a bunch of blonde and red haired, blue eyed, German and Englishmen. Because why not? Common themes throughout this book. Extreme violence towards blonde and red haired men. I.e. the English and German. Extreme out of proportion violence. A guy tells a girl to smile, so she kicks him between the legs. They even torture a defenseless person tied to a tree. Some digs against Christians, of course. Oh, and the, the artwork is shockingly bad, as you can tell. Uh, this opening setting, there's a yeah, a gang, and this is their their hideout is an RV in the middle of a deserted field with their motorcycles absent for some reason. <sighs> because, why not? Um... It's a weird girl power fantasy. Uh, they put themselves in an awkward place. They want to call out patriarch patriarchal types. Oh God, look at that motorcycle! It, it went from it went from a motorcycle to a scooter. This kind of art is not ready for publication. This is just. I mean, do you have an editor? It doesn't. Uh, you should this should this should stop everyone in the room should should stop and reassess themselves if this kind of art slips past the editor anyway it's a it's a it's a weird um they're trying to call out cat calling and uh sexual battery i can't say the r word on youtube uh, but statistically it's non-european americans who are violent or patriarchal and as for cat calling buzzfeed did a, did a demonstration of a woman walking around a city Men talked to her, some said hello, some cat called her, but it was Latinos mostly. A few black guys, also it was mild, it wasn't a big deal, but it wasn't white guys. In America, the most patriarchal groups are Latino ones. So what did the Archie team do? They make all the bad guys look German or English. Most gangs in America, well, the gang breakdown are uh, most gangs, Latino, maybe 60%, black, 40%. Uh, less than one percent are European. It's just, just absolute insanity, just racist, racist insanity. Um, you're ten thousand times more likely to find a non-white gang than a white one. So why do the Vixen team? Why do they do it? Because nobody will defend the English and Germans. Plot twist: I'm neither. But if you stand for the principle that racism, bigotry, prejudice are wrong, then those principles also apply to the German and English. Mostly, this is a misandrist, violent fantasy. It's basically torture, P-word I can't say on YouTube. I call it prawn. The girls who work on this book definitely have issues with men in general, and English and German men in specific. Are white men the group most likely to hurt and abuse women? Absolutely not. Does it matter to the creators of the book? Nope. If they showed the men who are per perpetuators of violence against women in America, they would be called a racist. I can't imagine anyone reading all ten issues. It's a sick, racist book written by unprincipled, racist psychopaths. If you hold beliefs not in accord with reality, beliefs contrary to objective, verifiable facts, then you're crazy. The creators of this book are all actually crazy people with extreme violent fantasies, and they are very, very racist. I had no idea comics had gotten so bad. The Archie team is different from Marvel. If you go to their social media, they actually advertise their books. Uh, more than advertise, they're actually begging people to come buy their books. So at least at least they're doing that, I give them credit. Whereas the people who work for Marvel <laughs> seem to forget that they're, they need to actually sell their books themselves. This is a, this is a new um, commercial universe for comic books and media in general. Um, the problem is they don't have any customers because one, the story is vile, racist, misandrous, poison, and two, the art isn't ready for publication. Take a look at this. Who's the bad guy in every single image? Anyway, they um, they aren't dumb. 
They, oh God, extreme, extreme levels of violence. They're kicking a guy in the face. In one of the one of the issues, someone catcalled them, uh, so they violently tortured him. They are kicking a person, a guy on the ground. This is sick. I mean, this is sick, sick stuff. This isn't a left versus right issue. It's a if you're on the left and you defend this because these people are on the left, stop, stop. And this isn't right. They're kicking somebody on the ground. They're trying to kick him to death. They're torturing someone who's tied up. In any culture, the concept of torturing a defenseless person should be abhorrent. Um, but the victims are, have blonde hair and blue eyes. So, anyway, they aren't dumb. They know they're racist. But also, they know no one will call them out on it as long as their victims look English or German. It's odd that the Eastern Europeans, Russian, Southern Europeans have partial immunity. Of course, Asians and Africans are strictly off limits. I wonder why. I've known plenty of Asians and Africans. They're smart, capable people, and some of them have said racist things. Ironically enough, I've heard them say racist things to each other. Anyway, let's look at Indy Cron for something to put us in a better mood. Indy Cron is the Comics Gate hub. It uh, lists the Indiegogo campaigns for people associated with Comics Gate. Uh, let's take a look, see what jumps off the page at us. Keep it in mind, people who who create the websites, always keep in mind, most people are looking at this on a cell phone, on a, a little screen. Uh, Sporkman Goes to Japan, Necromancer, Omnibus, uh, Maiden's War, that looks good. Vestige, that's the um, $42,000 for Vestige. Congratulations to Ro Kamir and the gang. Uh, the Ferryman, Lone Star, Mike Miller's book. My fairman's Sean Campbell, I think. Blood Hunt, Super Harem. Uh, let me get this up a little bit. Shinobi Sasquatch. Uh, Bloodstone, Bread and Salt, Blood of Patriots, Jungle Comics by Chuck Dixon and Kelsey Shin. And that actually looks pretty good. Berserk Knot, Red Rooster, uh, The Bull. See, something like this, just a little FYI, at the bull, number one, doesn't tell me, the image, okay, it's a guy with a bull costume, it doesn't quite really sell it, whereas something like Brand or Detective Dead or Black and White, you see a lot more going on on the screen. Get over here. Damn. Uh, oh, Lady Alchemy, that is by, I forget the girl's name, she's... Uh, I forget, I forget her name. Uh, Anchor Face. That that's Battle Maiden Knuckle Bomb. Oh, that's another uh, Six Gun Samurai. Is Mike Miller. I think this conflict is new. Um, get this opened up here a little bit. Uh, Sovereign by Huerta. Let's, oh, I already took a look at that. The Good Knight. Now, I saw this one advertised before. I had a problem with it. It doesn't show enough art. Oops. Oh, maybe they show more now. My bad. Because um, I saw when they were, the campaign, they had the campaign. They only showed like two pages of art. That's not, it's not enough art. But I will say the art does look fantastic. I guess these are pencils or charcoals or something. Um. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Anyway, these are on Indiegogo or Indicron. Indiegogo is kind of loosely associated with Comicsgate, where Kickstarter is associated with the um, NPC comics. Of course, the SGW comics on Kickstarter don't actually get fulfilled. <laughs> they just um, they just take the money and keep the money. <laughs> it's freaking bizarre. Uh, so Indiegogo has uh, Comics Gate Comics, um, and a lot of them look very, very good. That looks actually pretty good. Um, and you can, uh, but if you want to find out who who they are, you got to go to Indiecron uh, to find out who's associated with Comics Gate. Let's see some of these. Um, Menagerie of Monsters, Cyberfrog, Blood Honey. Blood Honey. I don't know if that's even up. Tales from the Stacks, that was by the Professor. Dead S, the comic book. Uh, Elemental 
the Ballad of the Dusty Tortillas. That looks good. Uh, Downcast by, that's a Clint. Littlest Umbrella, that is by Tug. Oh my, $77,000. Uh, he was in a competition with Deadbeats, which is a Kickstarter project with Renfamous, uh, who is, um, she, Renfamous is the girl who doxed one of the donors to, uh, your boy Zach's campaign. Uh, she is a reprehensible, unprincipled person without morals or ethics. She is truly, truly vile and despicable. Um, anyway, I totally wasn't stalling just to get to the, uh, ten minute mark. This looks good. I mean, this I, I like the old westerns. This um, the cover the cover works, man. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. You have one page. No, you can't have one page. Apparently, you do have one page. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you think in the comments below.